اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Once you have drawn the model and now you are ready to run. Obviously first thing is your measurement model assessment. The measurement model assessment means you are going to assess the reliability and validity of your constructs. How do you do this? Just go to calculate PLS algorithm. Press start calculation. Now the first thing that you see here is path coefficient. So what's the coefficient for the path from OL to OP? It's 0.633. This is your beta coefficient, which shows the weight of impact from your independent variable to your dependent variable. The higher the weight of impact, the stronger is the relationship between the two variables. Normally, if it's greater than 0.10, you can say this is significant. But rather than assuming or Saying that it is significant, we can later check it through p-value whether it is significant or not. But we, that will come later. Let's go back to the canvas. This is your path coefficient and these are your factor loadings. Now what do we mean by factor loadings? Now each item is actually representing its underlying construct. Now we need to know how well these items are representing its underlying construct. To understand how well the item is representing its underlying construct, we have to assess the factor loading. The closer the value to 1, the better the representation. Normally, the cutoff criteria is 0 0.70. If the loading value is greater than 0 0.70, we can assume that these indicators or that particular indicator is representing the underlying construct very well. In this case, if we look here, most of them are over 0 0.70 apart from 2. But still, those two are very close to 0 0.70. Look at this one here. All of them greater than 0 0.70. This means these indicators are representing this underlying construct well. Now, what is this 0 0.400? Now, what is this actually? This is your dependent variable. What is this? This is organizational learning. So, organizational learning is actually influencing your dependent variable of organizational performance. Now, if organizational learning is influencing organizational performance, now it is bringing some change into organizational performance. How much change is being brought into organizational performance because of organizational learning? This is 40% change. Why 40%? Because this is 0 0.400. If you multiply it with 100, that would be 40%. We can say 40% change in organizational performance can be attributed to organizational learning. So this is your R square. That shows the change in the dependent variable that can be attributed to the independent variable. So this value here is your R square. The one in the circle 0 0.400. Now that we know these are loadings and preferably they should be greater than 0 0.70. These loadings, obviously they, what they show is how well these indicators are representing this underlying construct. This value here is your R square and this is your beta coefficient, the weight of impact. The higher the weight of impact, that is the closer it is to 1, that is a standardized beta coefficient, the significant the value, the stronger the relationship. 